The solar system is full with a lot of objects, no matter if it's a planet, a moon, or a dwarf planet. And in this video, I'll be talking about all of them. Solar. Solar has a diameter of over 1 million kilometers. It takes up most of the mass of the solar system. You can fit over 1 million Earths inside solar. Solar is also the reason why we keep living here today. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Mercury has no real atmosphere, being extremely hot during the day, which is over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, and extremely cold at night, at minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Mercury also is not the hottest planet. It has no moons and no atmosphere. Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system at over 800 degrees Fahrenheit and over 400 degrees Celsius. Venus traps heat for its CO2 atmosphere and is spinning backwards, unusual to like other planets. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and also is our life planet. It is the largest terrestrial planet in the solar system. Earth also has one moon. It's named Luna. Luna has lots of craters, but it is slowly moving away from us at 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters per year. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system and has a big canyon named Olympus Mons. It is about three times bigger than Mount Everest. Mars has two small moons named Phobos and Deimos. They both have differences. Phobos is slowly drifting towards Mars while Deimos is slowly drifting away from Mars. 50 million years from now, Phobos will get too close to Mars and will be torn apart in orbit, forming a beautiful ring system similar to that of Saturn. And eventually, Deimos will drift too far away from Mars for Mars' gravity to hold on to it. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system and is the most massive object in the solar system. It has four major moons. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Starting off with Io, it's the closest moon to Jupiter. It is influenced by Jupiter's tidal heating, as well as the other moons. Next up is Europa. Europa has almost double the oceans of the Earth, our home, and is one of the most waterest objects in the solar system. Next up is Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than Mercury. Although it is bigger, Ganymede is less massive than Mercury. The last major moon of Jupiter is Callisto. Callisto is the oldest known surface in the solar system. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system and is the second largest planet. It also has seven major moons. Their names are Titan, Rhea, Enceladus, Mimas, Theus, Dione, Iapetus, and Enceladus. Saturn has pretty rings. Now it's time for the moons of Saturn. Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system and is still bigger than Mercury. Titan is less massive than Mercury though. Titan has many interesting things. One of them is that it has lakes made of methane and ethane. It has many more, but I can't talk about them in all this video. Enceladus is a pretty small object, only being 500 kilometers. Despite being this small, it is very similar to Europa and is the second most waterist object. Enceladus is at the edge of Saturn's ring, called the E-ring, and is the most bluest object in the solar system. Enceladus is also the youngest moon in the solar system, only being 100 million years old. Iapetus is the weirdest moon in the solar system. It also has oceans, so it is very similar to Titan and Enceladus. Tethys is a moon that is about 1,000 kilometers in diameter. It is also nearly fully water ice at almost 90%. Tethys is almost pointing directly at Saturn, so you wouldn't see the rings that often. 
although the shadows would be clearly visible. Dione is a moon that is about 1,100 kilometers in diameter. It orbits right out of Saturn's E-ring, where Enceladus is. Dione and Enceladus are so close to each other that they occasionally affect other gravitationally. This is called orbital results. Rhea is a moon that is about 1,500 kilometers in diameter. Rhea also has a hypothetical ring system. If it does have this ring, it is the only moon in the solar system with a ring. Mimas is a moon that is about 400 kilometers and the smallest spherical moon in the solar system. Mimas' big crater looks like it's the Death Star from Star Wars. Mimas is the smallest major moon of Saturn. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet in our solar system, and it looks like it's spinning sideways due to its axis tilt. Like Venus, Uranus rotates opposite-wise. Uranus also has a ring system, although it's not as pretty as Saturn's. Uranus has five major moons. Their names are Umbriel, Miranda, Ariel, Oberon, and Titania. Not much is known about these five moons, but some speculate that they all have a subsurface ocean. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and final planet in our solar system. It has extreme winds that go to 1200 miles per hour. It also has one major moon named Triton, the only large moon of Neptune. Triton is a moon that is about 2700 kilometers in diameter. It is believed to be a captured moon due to its retrograde orbit. A retrograde orbit is the opposite direction of a planet spin as it's a moon. 3.5 billion years from now, Triton will get destroyed by Neptune, and Neptune will have a beautiful ring system, like Saturn. We've covered all of the planets, but we still have a few dwarf planets to cover. Ceres. Ceres is located in the asteroid belt, which is basically asteroids in between Mars and Jupiter. It is the most closest dwarf planet and the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system at about 950 kilometers. It has no moons. Ceres is also theorized to have water on the top of its surface. Pluto. Pluto was the first object in the Kuiper Belt to ever be discovered, spotted in 1930 by Clive Tombo. Pluto was thought to be the ninth planet back then. We all know how that turned out. You can believe if Pluto is a planet or not. I prefer it as a planet. Pluto also has a heart shape on its surface. It has five moons. The biggest one is Charon. Charon's not really a moon, but more of a binary companion. It is about half of Pluto's size. Because of its similar size to Pluto, the Barry Center extends 900 kilometers from Pluto's surface, making them binary. Making them revolve around one another. Haumea. Haumea is an egg-shaped planet as it takes four hours to rotate. It also has two small moons named Hayaka and the Maka. They're just likely pieces of ice and rock. Haumea takes over 280 years to revolve around the sun once. Make Make. Make Make used to be called Easter Bunny. Make Make also has one moon named MK2. It's nothing but a boring piece of rock, so let's move on. Eris. Eris was the reason why Pluto was submitted to a dwarf planet. Eris also has one moon. It's named the Snowmia. Not much is really known about the Snowmia except it's 500 times fainter than Eris, meaning the Snowmia's composition would definitely be different from Eris's composition. And there you have it. That's the whole solar system. See you next time.